All right, everybody. Depth first search. Depth first search is a search algorithm for traversing a tree or graph data structure. We can break this down into three steps. When navigating a graph, we will pick a route and we will keep on going until we reach a dead end or a previously visited node. If we do, then we will move on to step three. We will backtrack to the last node that has unvisited adjacent neighbors. Let's navigate this maze using a depth first search approach. Here's the entrance and here's the exit. So the general concept of a depth first search is that when we reach more than one adjacent neighbor, we're just going to pick a route. Let's say we prefer right turns over left turns, but you can really set any rule that you want. When faced with more than one adjacent neighbor, I'm just going to pick a route and keep on going. And if we reach a dead end, then we're just going to backtrack to a node that has some unvisited adjacent neighbors. So there's no more place we can go, so we're going to backtrack all the way back to this intersection right here. This route is unvisited, so we will continue going. Not backtracking yet, there's no dead ends, but now there is, so we backtrack and keep on going. So this is what this looks like sped up. and we have reached the end. Let's use a depth first search approach to navigate this graph. Maybe we're at node A and we need to travel to I, but we don't know where I is. One way in which we can keep track of our position is to use a stack, or in the case of recursion, we can use a call stack. Whenever we visit a node, we will push it onto the stack. We can either travel to nodes B or D. So we will mark D as visited and push this node onto the stack. Then we can either go to E or G, let's go to G, We'll push that onto the stack, then H, E, and now we circled around back to D, but D is already marked as visited, so we're going to backtrack to a node that has unvisited adjacent neighbors, which is A. So we will pop all of these nodes off of the stack all the way back to A, which has unvisited adjacent neighbors, and this time we will go down this route and push all of these nodes onto our stack. And we have reached the end. Using a depth first search approach, when simplified, you pick a route, you keep going. When you reach a dead end or a node you already visited, you backtrack to a node that has unvisited adjacent neighbors, and you repeat steps one through two. All right, well, let's implement this in code now. And here we are, people. So I'm going to be using a graph that utilizes an adjacency matrix. If you're using an adjacency list, the code's just going to be a little bit different, but the concept is really still the same. I'm using code from the previous few videos. We have a node class, a graph class, and in the previous videos, we've already populated this graph with nodes and edges. And then I'm just going to print this. This is my adjacency matrix. Now within the graph class, we're going to create a depth first search method and a helper method. So this will be public void, and we will name this depth first search. And there will be one parameter, an index of where we would like to begin. To keep track of the nodes that we've already visited, what some people like to do is that they will create a Boolean within their node class, such as Boolean visited, and they'll just mark it as false or true. However, it's very easy to forget to change these back to false when you exit the depth first search. So what I'm going to do instead is create an array of Booleans, and the size will be equal to the length of the matrix. So let's create a Boolean array, and I will name this visited equals new boolean, and the size of our array is the length of our matrix. Then lastly, we will implement a helper function. So let's name this DFS helper, and we will pass in our source and our boolean array visited. Then we just need to create this method, private void DFS helper, and there are two parameters, int source and an array of booleans named visited. You can either implement a depth first search iteratively using a stack, or you can utilize the call stack if you use recursion. In this example, we're going to use recursion. When we invoke this helper function, we're going to check to see if the current node that we're on is visited or not, and we can use an if statement. If our visited array at index of source is equal to true, or you could write the shorthand and just say, if visited at index of source since this returns a Boolean value. If we've already visited this node, we're going to return, else we will mark this node as visited. 
else visited at index of source equals true. If you would like, although this part's not necessary, within my console, I'm just going to print that we visited this node. So within a print line statement, I do have my nodes within an array list. I'm just going to access the data of one of these. Nodes.getSource.data plus equals visited. This part technically isn't necessary, but it's going to help with my demonstration. In this example, maybe we start at node A. We need to find any adjacent neighbors. If we're using an adjacency matrix, we need to iterate over this row. We can use a for loop for that. So int i equals zero. We will continue this as long as i is less than our matrix at index of source dot length. This equals the length of a row. And then increment i by one. We're checking to see if one of these elements is a one. That means that's an adjacent neighbor that we can travel to using an if statement, if matrix at indices of source and i. Source is the row that we're working with, i is the column. If this is equal to one, then we will invoke the DFS helper method again. So this is recursive. We will pass in i as well as our Boolean array named visited. If we successfully search through an entire row outside of the for loop, let's return. And that's it, so let's run this. Within my main class, I will call the graphs depth first search method and pass in an index of a starting node. So let's begin at zero. We visit A first, then B, C, D, E. Let's try B, which has an index of one. B, C, D, E, A. C, which has an index of two. C, D, E, A, B. Okay, now pay attention to this. This is a directed graph and we're beginning at D. There's no place that we can go, so we're stuck at D. We only visit D. And lastly, we have E, which has an index of four. E, A, B, C, D. All right, everybody, that is the depth first search algorithm. You pick a route, you keep going. If you reach a dead end or an already visited node, you backtrack to a previous node with unvisited adjacent neighbors. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.